Beep. Beep. Right, I'm just gonna wait a little bit, see if we can get some people on. Very quick video today, I'm a bit rushed, but as I have, um, as I've committed to doing a daily video, you're getting a daily video. Where's the, where's the, where's the camera? There, yes. Or over there. There. Right, so apologies for that, if that's gonna frazzle your head. Right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna talk about something that's real quite important today, which is trust. Um, and I've got some bad news. Um, there is somebody you should never, ever, ever, ever trust. That's ever. And the person you should never, ever trust is yourself. Especially when it comes to food. Um, because the, the conversation this week with a few people has been around um, sort of uh, food habits and a lot of weight loss and better decision making, let's call it that, is linked to um, very simple principles, okay? So everyone overcomplicates weight loss. Uh, everyone makes it about sort of macronutrients and counting calories and all this stuff. From somebody that's done it, uh, that's lost a significant amount of weight and kept it off for over 10 years, um, it's a lot simpler than a lot of people make out that it is. Um, and the key to the simplicity, in my humble opinion, is um, not trusting yourself. So for example, if you buy a packet of biscuits, chances are you're going to eat them all, or a significant amount of them. Unless you have the ability to moderate. Now, if you have the ability to moderate, it's doubtful that you need someone like me's help, okay? So if you haven't got the ability to moderate, and you buy packets of things, then chances are you're gonna eat more than you should. That's not because you're bad, and that's not because you're lazy or indisciplined or any of that. That's because you're human. And that's because they make these products, so you eat more of them. Simple as that. Not because they're evil, just because that if I'm if I'm making a product, for me to make money, I need you eating more of that product. Well, actually, better than that, it, I need you buying more of that product. Not necessarily eating the product, but buying more of the product. Okay? So... If my product's nice, if it's sweet, if it's salty, if it's if it's if it's got something in it that makes, then I'm just gonna want you, then I'm gonna make it that way, okay? So if, for example, you buy a packet of biscuits and there are six large cookies in this packet, chances are you're gonna eat more than you should. Whereas if you bought one, you'd probably only eat one. But if you buy the packet, chances are you're gonna eat the whole packet, okay? So no matter how much um, coaching, support, accountability you have, if, if you keep buying things that you know you're going to eat, you can't, there's nothing you can do there <laughs> apart from stop buying it, okay? You can't trust yourself too much because no strategy in the world can ever protect you from that. No exercise class, no coaching, no accountability, no nothing. If you keep buying things, then you're going to eat them. Because how do I know? Because I would. And that's not because you're bad. That's just because you're human. And you have to accept that from a behavior standpoint. Where a lot of weight loss coaches, in my opinion, get it wrong, is they just give people tactics and expect them to do it. What they're missing is fundamentally there are some behavioral things that human beings do that mean that you won't execute those tactics irrespective of how effective they are. So you've got to look at your own behavior and everyone behaves in different ways. Some people um, gorge on bread, some people gorge on sugar, some people gorge on cigarettes, some people gorge on alcohol. We've got these things that we go after uh, and we crave and we eat more of. So we have to put in place systems to stop us doing it. Buying a packet of biscuits, leaving them in the cupboard and sitting there and using willpower to stop yourself from eating them is retarded, okay? Especially if you know you've got an issue with that, okay? So you have to put in place a strategy to stop you doing it because you'll just keep thinking about it, yeah? You'll just keep thinking about it. At any given time, if you said to a human being, what uh, junk food have you got in your kitchen? They could probably reel it off. They could probably tell you, Yeah? And that's how powerful this is. Because remember, when they make products, they can make them taste better, they can make them look better, they can make them more appealing, yeah? So trying to uh, get some sort of badge of honor 
by putting stuff in the cupboard and going, I'm not going to eat it, is silly. Yeah, the best thing to do is not buy it. And getting the junk food out of the house is probably one of the best and most effective strategies you'll ever have. A few years ago, I did a video and I talked about having a cheat day and I talked about, which is one strategy, you know, it works for some people, doesn't work for everybody, but it's a, it's a strategy um, that can work for some. It does work for most people, particularly emotional eaters. Um, and what happened was I said about chucking biscuits away after eating them. So I have one, I have a couple, chuck the packet away. Because what that does is it gives you a sense of control over your food. And, and that you don't have to eat it, you can enjoy it and do it and take control. And I got a comment from an overweight person saying, you're telling people to waste food, that's really bad. I'm not telling people to waste food. What I'm telling people to do is take control of the food. However, if you've got a problem with self-control and you buy a packet of biscuits and eat the lot, and then you complain about how you weight, then what's the, what's, what's the best strategy there? Not buy them or buy them and have two and throw them away. What's the best strategy? But eating all of them, because you don't want to waste food and then complain on your fat, again, retarded, stupid, okay? So the clear message is, if you buy it, you will eat it. If you buy it, you will eat it, okay? Because why else would you buy it unless you wanted to eat it? Again, if you can moderate and if you can have one and put the packet back, you don't need to watch this video, you don't need my help. But most people, yeah, haven't got that sort of discipline, haven't got that sort of control. So you have to manage your environment, yeah? Okay, that's the most important thing. Now to execute that is, you know, that's the hard bit to actually go and execute it. Because you watch this video and go, that's making sense. But then to go and execute it, well, that's the difficult bit. That's the difficult bit. If you buy it, you will eat it, okay? Trust me. Have a good day.